Crack. 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 <laughs> I almost called it crack chicken. <laughs> So we are at Shaq's Big Chicken, right on the corner of Paradise and Harmon. Now I've cheated, I've eaten here about four times and I always get the Uncle Jerome. We're gonna get it today because we're gonna compare this to Crack Shack over by New York, New York. So I'm ordering something spicy and hot. And uh, let's see, it's $8.79, I believe. Yep, $8.79, I've got water in the car. We'll vlog out there because it's pretty loud in here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and order. Yes, sir. Hey, man, what's your name? Do you mind your name? Oh, uh, yeah, my name is Nico. Miko? Nico, yes, sir, N-I-C-O. Uh, I will do my favorite, Uncle Jerome. Definitely. Just a sandwich and uh, in a box to go. Yes, sir, definitely. Two one of these sauces we have listed right here. What's your favorite? My favorite, I'm real simple. I like uh, the uh, Buffalo barbecue, but the most popular on the barbecue ranch is the Jack sauce. The uh, Jack sauce is a Chipotle mayo barbecue. Chipotle barbecue mayo mix. That right. sounds good. We'll do the shack sauce. Right. Hey, you don't want to throw any fries or anything in there? Some shakes? No, no. Don't no. no no worry. No worry. So there's Uncle Jerome's shack sauce as well. Did you want the sauce? You said outside. Yeah, I'm going to go outside. So all this to go is a 9.53. Thank you, go man. Take back. care, buddy. You do as well. Come right back in if you need something. All right. That was quick. He said seven to ten minutes, but uh, actually it was less. All right. So we're gonna go check this out. Here's the sandwich. That looks awesome. So this is the Uncle Jerome. It's Nashville hot chicken, shredded lettuce, mayos, and pickles. Also, I have the shack sauce. I'm gonna put a little bit of the shack sauce just on the chicken. It's like a spicy Thousand Island, which that's probably demeaning it, but... And the freaking guys are texting while I'm trying to do this. I need to turn notifications off because it's really annoying. Okay, here we go. Hmm. So there's the chicken. It's a good-sized breast. About four pickles. You can see the mayo on this side and the hot sauce. Really good, not too much lettuce. Now I don't have big hands, but still a good sandwich. Here's the thing that I like about it. If you put the shack sauce on it, it kind of tones down the spiciness. It's kind of like Frank's red hot sauce. Some woman is yelling on her phone in her car with the door open, letting all of us hear what she has to say. Bread's really good. Soft, um, not too bready. I mean, you can see that the bread's not bigger than the actual chicken, so I'm starving. <laughs> well, that'll do it for Shaq's Big Chicken, and that Uncle Jerome does not disappoint. It's my favorite, although I did have, I have tried others, but definitely nice and spicy. So next up, we're gonna go check out the Crack Shack, which is by Park MGM along Las Vegas Boulevard. So if you've been to Shaq's Big Chicken, Leave me a comment down below and what was your favorite item to order there? So now this is part two of Crack Shack versus Shack's Big Chicken. I'm here with Ted and, <laughs> sorry. Ted saw a mural at the parking garage at New York, New York on the first floor. It's basically a T-Mobile mural because of the UFC, the boxing, and of course, the Golden Knights. That's on the first floor of the New York, New York parking garage. Ted, what did you think of it? I think it's pretty cool. I'm kind of curious about who the artist is, but I uh, did a really good job. We just left New York, New York and heading over to Crack Shack. Guys, it is beautiful today. It is 72 degrees, although my car said 75 and uh, yeah. Wearing shorts today, because it's so nice out. I think it'll get to about 56 tonight. 
Gord, Tamara, this is the week that would have been nice if you could have stuck around just one more. Ted, you're doing spicy? Yeah. Uh -huh. Want to see me cry again? I want to see you <laughs> cry. So Ted was very generous. He bought me dinner. As you can see, 3902. Um, I think our sandwiches were $13 each. I got the Firebird, so did he. And I'm not gonna have an attitude like uh, Straight Outta Vegas does about people ordering the same thing. So the Firebird is a spicy chicken thigh with ranch, crispy onions, pickles on a potato roll. Also the sodas they have here are very similar to what they have over at Shaq's Big Chicken. It's that same brand. Guess I could take off my mask now. Although right across the way I see Fat Burger, but this is the battle of the chickens. You definitely can see this is a pretty thick chicken patty. The pickles, the crispy onions. We're, we're trying to record between the music. We came in, the guy said, the music's not working. We're like, that's awesome. <laughs> pickles, crispy onions, ranch, and a hot chicken thigh. Spicy hot. Cheers. It's a really big sandwich. I mean, Remember my hand trick? So that's after I took a couple bites. I probably should have done that before. But this is definitely a bigger sandwich than over at Shaq's. So the chicken thigh is really moist. The fry on it, the crispiness, super, super crispy. Um, you get a crunch in every bite. I wouldn't say it's saturated with the red hot sauce, but there's definitely enough on there. And it is chicken thigh meat, which I prefer thigh meat because it's moisture. Uh, the pickles, they're like dill. They're also crunchy. And then the fried onions. So you're getting a lot of crunch in one bite. This potato roll is really good too. It almost looks like it has onions on it. So I just finished eating and my assessment of Crack Shack versus Shack's Big Chicken. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go with the Crack Shack. If I would have had a soda over there, it would have been about $2.50 to $3. So you're looking at $12 versus $16 here. I'm not talking taxes. So for the $4 difference, if you happen to be on the strip, don't feel like walking down to Paradise and Harmon, although I really think you should. Um, this is actually a really good deal. I think the chicken is a little bit bigger. They do use Thai meat, which is moister. The crunch was phenomenal and uh, really good. So. Again, I think on this round, I'm gonna have to give it to Crack Shack. Not that I don't like Shack's Big Chicken, I love that place. Uh, especially if I'm not coming to the strip, then I definitely go there. But yeah, so the winner, Crack Shack. And big shout out to the manager, Richard. Um, we gave him some little bit of merch, stickers, pins and stuff, and uh, he gave us this chip. So it's only been not even a day since I've not had Crack Shack. Kidding. 15% off. He's a great guy. Super friendly. Very helpful. In fact, the entire staff here is very helpful at Crack Shack. But then the same can be said over at Shack's Big Chicken. So customer service at both places, 100% both of them. So guys, that'll do it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button down below and ring the bell icon. That way you'll be notified when I upload new content. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Hey Ted, how you doing? Doing okay. He's doing okay. We'll see how he thinks. Can you see me there? What's that? Can you see me here? Oh yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna wipe my nose and dry my eyes. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> they know that it's too hot for him, but he's a trooper. Did you finish it all? Oh, he couldn't finish it. 
if you're still watching, I appreciate it. Keep watching and uh, we'll wrap it up later. So second time here, you said, how was it? It was good, it was good. I enjoyed it, I'm full. I actually couldn't finish my sandwich because uh, it was a little hot. Was it hot like that last time? Do you remember? It was, and okay. I, just, I just didn't remember because I saw I ate a while back. Probably one of my favorite chicken spots on the strip. Unless you want to make chicken from McDonald's. I was going to.